they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear on the. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Koei. We on a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest. Yeah, yeah. Ov, 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 Josie here. So, where you from? I'm from uh, Newburgh, New York. Okay. Yeah. So that's like upstate a bit. Upstate. That's upstate. Y'all call, that's call upstate. it upstate, but it's not upstate. It's just upstate from y'all. It's upstate. So you feel like it's New Yorkish? New Yorkish? Nah, yeah, it's like that. It's just like I ain't gonna lie. It's Two four seven act. Two four seven. That like. New York is two four seven active. Yeah, but like I ain't gonna lie, down here it's not like it's not like a real place. Yeah, I got NPCs and shit. Like, <laughs> like okay, this GTA and shit. Got yeah. it. All right, so we're gonna play rapid fire questions. I'm gonna ask you a question. You say the first thing that comes to mind. Got it. Uh, favorite song. Uh, Touch the Sky, Kanye. Favorite artist outside of hip hop. Um, Taylor Swift. Who won the battle, Drake or Kendrick? Kendrick. Celebrity crush. Uh, Meg Thee Stallion. Last song you listened to. Almighty Chief Keef. Um, what's one song you know every word to? Um, Power Kanye West. One sentence for your ex. Bitch. That's not even a sentence. But fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, a conspiracy theory you think is real. Um. Pyramids, uh, aliens built the pyramids. Okay. Um, dream car? Um, Lambo, Mercy Lago. Best thing about Newburgh? <laughs> the people. Yeah. Okay. And the worst song ever? Worst song ever? The worst song. I don't know. There's a lot of bad ones out there. Okay, what's your least favorite? Least favorite? It's the same thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, song I hate. I fuck with music like OD. Um, oh, so you don't remember? It nah, yeah, there. yeah, nah. Okay, okay, okay. So give us the backstory. How was it growing up in Newburgh? Um, I mean, it was lit. Um, pretty much like, you know, just like any city. Um, you like, feel me, like, it do get like that, but like as long as you know, you know, you know um, the right people and shit like that, you stay out of trouble. But like, um, it's trenches. So for me, like, um, we ain't really like me. I ain't grow up with a lot of money. So like, mm -hmm. for me, like we had to do what we had to do. So for how Brad. bad is it? How bad is the trenches out there? Because out here we got projects. So is it projects? Out nah, there? yeah, yeah. I grew up in the PJs. Like, it's, oh. yeah, yeah. It's and it's like like mad stories and shit. Like I know, nah, it's only like one building that's, that got mad stories. The rest is like houses. Like a lot. Oh, okay. Like I, I can say like the houses is like close together. Fake look like 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 Philly. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So growing up. Okay. So what made you get into music? Um, so my brother, he's from Brooklyn. So like when he, um, I, I never like met him when I grew up. I met him like, you know, when I was like probably about like five, like he moved up from Brooklyn and he was just like living with me and my mom, and my pops. And, um, he like, he was already into like, you know, rapping and shit like that. Uh -huh. So he just started playing mad hip hop music. And then my cousins came to live with us and it was just 11 us in the crib. And I was just started listening to like mad, like, you know, like 50, Hove, Biggie, like every single day. And then. One day, like, they just came up to me and was like, yo, bro, like, freestyle. And I was, like, in, like, the third grade. And then, like, you know, I just started, like, you know, I really fucked with it at the time. Um, and then I just started, like, you know, releasing music as I grew up. And then, like, really started taking it serious a couple years ago. Okay. So your brother was from Brooklyn? Yeah, yeah, he's from Brooklyn, Flatbush. Okay. So how many siblings do you have? I got all brothers. I got three brothers. Okay. Um, so how is, did he finish music? Did he stop nah, music? Nah, nah, yeah, he stopped music, like, for me, just, like, just became like a regular street nigga and just for me to stay outside. Does he put pressure on you being that you do music? I can see that. Um, yeah, but like from we don't even talk no more. Like some shit happened. Damn. Yeah, okay. yeah, some shit happened. But like I can say like when he was like filming around and shit, like, yeah, like it was it was a lot of pressure. Like, don't get me wrong, he made me feel like like the nicest in the world. For mm -hmm. me, even the times when I didn't feel like my shit was fire. Okay. Um, but like, you know, sometimes I don't I don't really like when people were like on my back. Especially when it comes to like me being creative and shit. Okay, but do you feel like it helped you elevate though? Nah, I do because like okay. you know, for me, either Leo, you know Leo's love. For me, it's like they on top of the world; they can never be wrong. Right, um, right, right. So like he always like you know like he always made me like like felt like like yo bro like 
who cares what they say? Like you the you the best no matter what. So that's that was his mindset. And like for me, okay. I took it, and like you know, it just helped me like become my biggest fan. Okay. So is your family is other people in your family supportive? Of yeah, the music? I would say now because they see like everything I'm doing is like you know coming to light and um mm -hmm. you know everything that like, you know being from where we from and like seeing how I am now like they like much more supportive facts. Okay, so what was you into if not music? Was he into something else? Now yeah, facts. I was playing football. What? So they was probably like, what the fuck? Now yeah, nah, <laughs> OD. I mean, I, I'm Haitian, so like any it was like football for real, but like it kept me out of trouble. So, like, instead of being outside, like, it's like I couldn't be outside because I had to go to football practice. And um, I ain't a lot. I went to school. I went to school, played football, but I only, like, played for a year. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, for me, I can say, like, it did help me, like, get into college. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, you know, that was really what I was, like, doing. And I was like, nah, fuck that. I can't do this shit no more. Like, playing in college, it's like, it's like a business. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's, it's a lot for okay. me. Like, no one want to wake up at 4.30 in the morning. Practice, for me to go to class. work out and then class and then practice at three o'clock. Like, nah, I ain't trying to do that every day, bro. Okay. All right. Um, do you feel like, okay, so we, we talked to a lot of artists. They say that they think sports help them be more disciplined when coming into the music game. Do you feel like that? or? Nah, yeah, facts. Because if you like, I mean. Like, if you played a sport and now doing music, it's like you're training yourself? Nah, yeah. Because, I mean, if you know, like, how it feel to lose, like, especially a championship game. Like, we went to the state championship. And it's like, you lose and then everyone booing in your face and you can't do nothing about it because you lost, like, the biggest game, like, you feel me, on TV. Like, it just, like, but you ain't crash out. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. My teammates was crashing out. I ain't crash out. So, okay. like, it just, like, you know, keep you, like, sturdy. And that's what you're going to experience, especially being a creative, yeah. for me, like, especially being an artist. Like, not everyone going to like your shit. Like, you're right. going to have, like, a million no's before you have, like, you know, one yes. Okay. So, when was you, when would you say, like, you were steady on it, like, Music is full time now. Um, I would say probably about, probably about like two years ago. Okay. Nah, yeah, probably two years ago. But I dropped a, a single back in 2020 called Demons, and then like that right there, like you know, I had the whole like my whole city like you know on fire. A lot of people was fucking with it, and I started driving. That's when I started coming down to the city more often, mm -hmm. and like you know, I was hearing the shit being played, um, in the city and shit. Like like motherfuckers stopping like, yo, bro. I saw you on my man's page. I got mad friends that live in the city. Right. So, like, you know, I just started, like, um, you know, seeing, like, Apple Music and shit. I'm getting plays in New York City and shit like that. So, mm -hmm. um, it, like, so probably, like, 2020, but then, like, after that, like, two years ago, like, yeah, that's when I really started jumping. Okay. So, if somebody never heard your music before, what, I guess, song would you play, though? If you never heard my music? Yeah. Um, I'll probably play my newest song, Higher. Your newest song? You wouldn't yeah. even go back to the old one? Uh, nah, I, I mean, <laughs> I, I can, but, like, it's just, like, higher, like, it's, just, it's, it's so tough, and it's, like, full of energy, and everything I'm talking about is, like, um, like, for me, it was, like, everything I did in the past up to this moment right here. Okay. Yeah. And how are you feeling about hip-hop overall right now? Um, I'll say it's definitely dope. I really fuck with, like, you know, all the sexy drill, um, and, like, where it's at right now in New York. Um, like, I feel like, you know, like, we needed, like, you know, a, a nice sound to, like, you know, like get shit going again because new york was like the music like it was just in a weird space but like you know seeing with cash and everywhere everyone was doing the shit is fire um but like i feel like there should be more artists like you know being much more creative as well okay like who's some i guess you want to say creative artists that you like seen or want to highlight or um i mean cash for sure i really fuck with his shit um i just met some dude named joe west like, his shit is pretty dope. Y'all gotta keep naming New York artists. Like, no, no, like, I just met him. I literally oh, just yeah, met him. Like, his shit is fire. But, like, down, like, um, probably from down south. I mean, like, whatever you feel is creative to you. Nah, yeah. You know I, mean? I mean, I fuck with, like, um, I made a song with Louis Ray. So, um, those are, like, people from, like, um, uh, Flint, Detroit. Okay, Michigan, yeah, yeah, I fuck with them. Um, yeah, I, I, them. yeah, yeah. And, um, a couple artists from Memphis mm -hmm. as well. Got a song with um, Clay Crucial. Memphis got a good sound right now, and mm -hmm. like a lot, I'm fucking with a lot of their artists right now, and the shit is punching. Okay. okay, all right. So in your eyes, what makes some, what makes a song or something creative, or someone creative? I would say like you bring your own swag to it. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I mean, like you you speak like you know what happens in your life or like your experiences, you story tell, but like you bring your own personality to it. Like you don't try to be someone else. Like you you yourself, and you just like put your sauce on it. Okay. Have you ran into people that you feel like was acting? 
Oh, that's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> how do you deal with that? A lot of people, a lot of people say they can't deal with the music industry is too fake. What do you? How do you deal with it? I mean, it's, if I'm out, like, it, it really happens to me when I'm outside. Dude's like, yo, 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 Ovi, bro, like, y'all just dropped a song, bro. Like, I'm like, I right, bet, but like, I knew. I'm like, yo, bro, like, I know you. Like, you ain't never fight a day in your life. You ain't never beef with someone <laughs> ever. Music? Yeah, I'm like, all right, bro. Like, we're, I, did, like I, mean, I give him the, like, attention because, like, for me, I know how it felt like to no one listening to my music and shit like that. So mm -hmm. even if they is cap, like, even if they capping, but, like, you know, I'm going to give it a listen. I'm going to give it an ear. So, like, right. in that moment, they feel, like, feel me good about themselves. But, like, I know, like, I know who they really are. So you're not into the music where they, like, lying in their raps? So. No, nah, I don't like that. No, nah, I don't like okay. that. No. What type of artist are you? Are you more lyrical? Are you more creative? Are you in a melodic pocket? Like, what are you? I would say, what like, would you say you are? I would say um, all of them. Um, like, not too lyrical to the point where I'm like, you know, I'm not a backpack rapper. That's, that's, <laughs> that's not me. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, that's not right. me. I would say, like, you know, I, I, I story tell. But I story tell about, like, you know, shit that I experienced mm -hmm. or, like, my close relatives experienced. Mm -hmm. um, and like you know, I just like I like to hype people up. Like my music is gonna bring life to the room. Like that's the that's, that's like the goal. Okay, okay. So how do you feel like you got better from then to now? Um, I say I started like I started writing more. Oh, so yeah. you was freestyling back then? Nah, I wasn't writing as much as like I'll just be writing like bullshit. Like I wouldn't really like take it serious. I was just like, all right, cool. Like this shit will sound nice, but like nah, nah, nah I ain't trying to sound. I was trying to sound good. So like I really started like you know like nah let me lock in let me like you know because I ain't a lot before like I wasn't really like too like vulnerable about like you know putting like you know what happened in my life and my music because wow. I ain't, I mean it's like you know like some situations were traumatizing for me like it was like a lot of like you know trauma in the past and I'm like nah I ain't, I ain't trying to like you know let people know about that but I was like nah fuck that for me because this is like this is my piece like this is like you know this mm -hmm. is me so um so that's like really what I started doing. Like, this shit started working out for me. Mm -hmm. Are you signed or in independent? So, I'm independent. Um, I do, I do, um, I am uh, with a digital label, though. Okay. Yeah. So, does the label kind of, like, push you to make, like, commercial kind of music or TikTok type music? N being that? Like, nah, you know, like, they, buzzing right now? nah, they let me do, like, you know, they let me do what I want to do. Just as long as it sound good. It's like, yo, listen, it sound good. Mm -hmm. You got content with your stuff. All right, cool. We're going to make it work. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's cool. All right, how do you feel about the whole like TikTok and like commercial music stuff? I feel like it's cool, but like, I mean, if you gotta come, you gotta make sure you have like you know a good like, like me. I mean, me personally, like speaking for myself, like speaking for myself, like I want to have a good catalog, like you know, for a long period of time. Like I just don't want to have like you know TikTok sounds and like what because like I ain't gonna lie, what if that shit, what if they dead ass end that shit? It's like damn, bro, like. Now, now people trying to tune into your Apple Music like, damn, bro, I only like eight seconds of that song. Like, I ain't even trying. I ain't even trying to listen to nothing else. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's a good platform to put like you know your music on to get lit. But like, as long as you capitalize off of it, like you know to make more shit after that. Then, yeah. Like, yeah, it's fire. Okay, so what do you value more? Do you value singles or do you value like bodies of work? Um, I, I'll say bodies of work. Yeah. When the last time you listened to an album? I ain't gonna lie, I just oh, listen. listen to albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I if I really if I really fuck with the like you know with the artist, like I, I mean if it's like a new artist, I ain't gonna. I'm listening to like. I'm just singles. like, all right, cool. It's, it's the stars on the shit. Like, you don't know, have a music <laughs> and shit. Like. But like, um, but now nah, if it's my favorite artist, and like artists I value listening to, or if I even meet, if I meet an artist as well, mm -hmm. um, I'm listening to the I'm listening to the body, but like I'm listening to the whole body, like you know, oh, like, music. But like if it's like you know. Bro, who I just met, like, you know, just the other day. All right, cool. Like, I'm just to, like, you know, a couple singles. A couple sure. songs. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, what was the last album you heard? That, a good one. Like, going last down in the album? books. Uh, Since you said you in tune. Like, I, I ain't, I ain't going to look at my phone. Uh, Gunner's album. So, you fuck with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I think that shit is tough. Okay. I think that shit is tough. Allegations aside. But I ain't going to, I, I mean. <laughs> did he snitch though? So what that mean? Huh? I mean, if he, if I ain't gonna lie, if Thug, I mean, I gotta hear from Thug. Okay. I gotta hear from Thug. If okay. you feel me, if he did that, then. Like, so like people can't were debating like if Gunna's album was a classic or not. What do you think? I would say the last one was much more. I feel like he put a lot more pain in the last one, the one he dropped before this. This one right here, the one he just dropped just now. It's yeah, like, I didn't hear this one yet. It's like it's like how Gunna used to sound. 
Like that was like, all right, that's gonna like you know as soon as like, you click on it, okay. it ain't like you know. Um, but the last one had way more like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, how do you feel? How you feel about rap beef? Rap beef? I, I mean, it's good for the culture. It's definitely good for the culture. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's like. I mean, growing up, like we heard, like everyone was beefing when we was growing up, yeah. like mad rap groups and shit like that. As long as I feel me, but like, like I know, like you know, dudes like really say. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, if you gotta take it there, you gotta take it there. But like, mm -hmm. um, that's that's one, that's the like you know one whack thing about it. If like you know, like someone die and shit. But like when it comes to just like strictly music, that's fire. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever been in a rap beef? No. No. Nah, no rap Niggas beef. Niggas in your city be hating on you. I mean, shit, I, I wouldn't know if they do. I don't like rap beef because, like, I'm going to just fight you. I ain't even going to. Oh, wow. So you're not even going <laughs> to. Nah, nah. Play like, into the culture. Like, wow. some, I ain't going to lie. Some people take it too far, bro. Like, you can Like, come on, bro. Some like, that's why, like, good. that's why, like, do, like, dudes take it there. You talking about, you know, you smoking on someone dead, like, dead family member, and you got to take it there. Well, that's, like, okay, that's drill music rap beef. What about, like, the Drake like, and Kendrick? Like, uh, Drake and Kendrick? Like, or, like, Sukiyana and JT is, like, Dissing right now. Nah, that, yeah, that's yeah, that's wavy. Yeah, that's fire. I, I like that. <laughs> so long as it's not violent. Nah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> if you ain't like you know talking all that crazy shit, then like yeah, nah. It's, it's, Do you feel culture. like um you know J Cole had backed out the beef or whatever? Do you feel like that was okay or do you feel like it's no such thing as backing out? Nah, that was whack. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, out? nah. If someone diss you and you diss them back. There's no. You gotta wait for a response. Yeah, yeah. Nah, there's not no your eye policy. I mean, but that's him though. Like to each his own. But like, I, I, don't, I don't like that. Okay. Yeah. Like okay. you could have just talked it over the phone like a couple months later. <laughs> like yo, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. We was wilding. Okay. All right. So what is what you got planned while you in New York? Um. So currently, I, ain't, I mean, it's a couple of interviews I've been going to. Mm -hmm. Um. We just um left Audio Mac. Um. Gosh. And pretty much just getting ready for this project I'm dropping on Friday. Okay. Well, it's probably it'll probably be out like after yeah, the project, so um so yeah. Okay, so tell us about the project. So the project yeah, is five songs. First, it started at ten, but I was like, nah, ten is like cut it halfway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What cut happened? it in half. Cut it in half because I ain't gonna lie. Like I want people to listen to like at least four, like three to four, like you know the songs. You right? You just said you value bodies. I'm talking. Me. Yeah, I'm talking about me. I'm talking about okay. me. All right, all right. Yeah. Yeah, people do have a short time span, not, attention span right now. Yeah, and if the first and, or two songs not punching, then yeah, they, they're okay. not going to listen to it. So you got five bangers. Yeah, okay. five Yeah, five bangers. Um, I dropped two of them already, Higher and All Seeing and View. Mm -hmm. And um, the uh, other three songs called Sacrifice, uh, Money Rules, and Home. Um, mm -hmm. Pretty much, yeah, it's like high energy songs. Um, I would say, like, you know, as soon as you listen to like the first two songs of the project, it really is just like a lot of high energy. Well, mm -hmm. first three songs. And then once it hit, like, you know, once four. you um, play home, like four and five is like much more calm, but that's like much more like, you know, um, like I'm rapping. Like I like really like, you know, meaningful rap, like lyric, like being mm -hmm. lyrical. Okay, any collabs? Um, not on this project. There was, I ain't gonna lie, there was a couple collabs like when, when I had 10, but that's for the next project. Okay, are we in deluxe or a whole different project? Now nah, it's gonna be a whole new different project. Okay. Now you already got the name and everything ready for it. Okay, so what's the plan with this project right here? These five songs, like, what's the plan? Like, is it to learn more about you? Is it like your introduction to the summer? Like, what is it? What like, what are we getting? I would say it's uh, much more of an introduction to the summer, but much more people like you know, cause I'm a you know, I'm a lot of people gonna hear it. So it's like, you know, a lot of more people like knowing about like who Ovi is and like, you know, my kind of music and my style of music as well. Okay. Um, and like when you listen to the songs, like I ain't gonna lie, like I, I fuck with the studio, like for real, for real. Okay. And what inspired this? Like what made you want to put this together? Um, honestly, I always wanted to put a project together. Um, I dropped a project like, you know, last year, but I was going through a lot. Like that project that I put together before called Black and Purple Arts, that was just like me really going through like, you know, like. Um, even though I don't get along, like we didn't really get along when I was growing up, but like my pops caught a stroke for me, couldn't walk, couldn't yeah. talk no more. Um, and, you know, people not like, you know, people in my life, like, you know, abandoning me and like, you know, beefing with like family members and shit like that. So I, yeah. that's why I put it together. But this time around, me putting this project together, like it's really like, yo, like I ain't gonna lie, I'm honing into a sound that's me. And, like I want people to like know who I am, like in the industry. I really want to like, you know, start making like, you know, my mark like in the industry for real, for real. Okay. Is music like therapeutic to you? Nah, it is. Because yeah. like I just I don't only listen to hip hop. I listen to like, you know, other music as R &B well. R and B and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Like especially like okay. Haitian music and shit too. Okay. Yeah. Put me on, who's a Haitian artist? Um it's crazy. Don't slay me, Haitians. 
I just, I just be putting that shit on shuffle. Yeah, like, what? So, so that's like, um, that's not Afrobeats. Don't count. It's like you, you can say yeah, but it's, it's like it's much more like drums and guitar. And guitar. Okay. Yeah, it's like a lot of love music. Okay. Yeah. So you would you do a Haitian song? Yeah, facts. I would. Okay. Yeah, and speaking Creole. Okay. Yeah, I definitely would. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, so five songs to drop in this Friday. Mm-hmm. No collabs. No collabs on this one. Introduction to the summer. Yeah. So what's your move this summer? How you feeling? Uh, this summer, I, I definitely want to do a lot of collabs with um, you know, much more artists down in the city. Cause I already started doing that earlier in the year. Like yeah. I just started like you know rubbing shoulders with like you know a couple people. Um, and like, you know, I already had like, you know, locked in songs with like, you know, other artists and shit like that already. So like, and they, they mad cool. Huh? I collab with, um, I collab with Lil Reek, um, collab with, um, Louis Ray, a couple artists from, um, Memphis. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a a artist named Stunner. He's from Memphis, but he, um, came up here and like was fucking with the, um, sexy drill sound. So I definitely, um, he's from Memphis. Okay. Yeah. See Stunner? No, I think he's no, 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 no. Right, okay, so working with a couple different people. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're gonna play another game on a lighter note. You have your, you could use your phone, I guess. No, I ain't gonna shoot. I ain't gonna shoot. But like, okay, so it's just called Music Library. So like, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna name a scenario mm-hmm. and tell me what song you will play or what artist you will play. Okay. All right, so when you're in the house cleaning. Um, Marvin Gaye. For real? Yeah. Yeah. That gets you in that clean Yeah, facts. Period. Okay. All right, when you're cooking. When I'm cooking. Do you be cooking? Yeah, I be cooking. Okay. Yeah. Uh, probably yay, Kanye. Kanye West? Yeah. In the kitchen? In the kitchen. All right, all right. All right, um, you smoke? Yeah. Okay, rolling up. Rolling up. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Yeah. Okay, in the shower. In the shower. You play music in the shower? And if I be Some singing, I be singing. Some people don't. <laughs> um, I get the vibes away. Yeah, I be singing that shit. What was that? Um, LMA? Oh. Come <laughs> on now. All right, all right. Um, okay, so leaving the club, you with a shorty, y'all in the car. Oh. Going wherever you want to go. Honcho. Honcho? Yeah. Type shit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, when you're getting ready to go out. Ooh. Um, can I go out? Probably pay like, uh, probably future. Okay. Yeah, future. All right. And when you're feeling down. When I'm feeling down, um, probably hove. Jay Z. Jay Z. Yeah. More motivation. Music. Yeah, I need that. Type Okay. So, is there anything else you're working on? I want to talk about. Um. Project this Friday. Honestly, um, now nah, I just like working on collabs and um, okay. like you know, just really trying to like you know, um, work with like content creators and shit like that in the city. Okay. Yeah. Any you fuck with or spoke to yet? Um, down in the city, no. Uh, really, just like the ones I met through like my man, like throughout like through with my mans and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's probably about it. Um, okay. You wanna do streaming or like? Mm-hmm. Or? Nah, it's like you know, like um, just like really collabing, um, you know, like on a platform and shit like that, seeing like you know, um, like, like we can collab, shit, yeah, 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 shit to like shit that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so you sound like you open to like all of that. Nah, yeah, facts, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I'm lit. So, <laughs> okay, so tell me where to find you. How can they tune in? Nah, yeah, let's. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, O V I J O Z I, out on um, you know, all DSPs, Apple Music, title, Spotify, YouTube. 